remind everybody again, same thing that we talked about before is to stay away from the area. Uh, I know that our curiosity gets to us and we want to come down and see what's happening, but this is a very fluid situation. We don't want people to come out here and get caught up in a spot, especially if this circumstance are changed. So again, just stay away from downtown Dearborn. We'll let you know when it's clear to come back down here. Uh, we also want to uh, remind everybody that this is Dearborn scene. Um, our job here is to provide what support we can, which we provided our emergency support team, our aviation units, troopers, and anything the chief asks for, he, he gets. So uh, that's where we're at as far as the MSP portion of it. Chief, can you set the scene for us out here with the song side? Yeah, so, uh, you know, our officers you respond. Chief, yeah, you bet. So our officers respond on reports of shots fired. And, uh, you know, once we, were, we arrived on scene, we made contact with one individual who currently is, uh, I would describe, barricaded in, a, in one of the hotel rooms. What I will say is that we're actively negotiating with that individual. I, you know, we're all working towards a peaceful resolution, and hopefully that's where we're going to end up. Can you up. give us any information about what precipitated this? There was some type of dispute with the hotel staff or the clerk. And is it was it for uh, you know have him leaving the, the hotel? No, it was it, it revolved around money. That's oh the deal yeah. owing of a bill. Yeah, he has a long gun, does he not? So he is armed with a long gun, and so that's why we need people to keep a safe distance away from the area at, the, at this time. I does will add that schools. I know there's some questions about some of our local schools. It, none of them need to be on lockdown. You know, they're safe to be released. All the, ch the children. There's not a concern as far as that goes. Chief, there are conflicting reports about how many people have been injured here. So we we had one victim of a gunshot. Wound. That is it. There is no one else who has been hit by gunfire. No, as of right now, like I said, no. But again, it's an active investigation or scene at the moment. Was the person an employee of the hotel who was the injured party? Yeah, that I don't have information on at the moment. Are they someone who was with the shooter? Not that we know. Was he shooting out the back of the hotel? That has not occurred. That has not occurred. No. Do we know how many shots have been fired? That I don't have. Does this shooter have a military, you talk about the military background? Yeah, I can't confirm that as well, you guys. I know you guys are interested in getting information out to the public, and I appreciate the public's interest to know, but it's an active scene, and my primary focus right now is seeing that it resolves peacefully, but I appreciate the question. Has when you been see evacuated, but the scene up there now from the hotel? So we, we've gone through and evacuated all the hotel rooms as best we can at this point. Um, but we're still working on that as well. It's a big hotel with five floors. When you say you have to be careful because it's an active scene and, and you're negotiating with him, is there a message you want to send to him that he might hear through this? So if he should, I would implore him to please come out peacefully. No, he, you know, Nobody wants to see anybody else get hurt as a result of this uh, incident. And I just implore him to come out peacefully. I mean, the preservation of life here is what's our top priority. And are you willing to wait this out as long as it goes? At this point, yeah, it's going to be a waiting game. And uh, we... Like I said, we're working through it. I'm very happy to say that I've got the state police, Oakland County, Taylor Police Department, the feds, Wayne County. Everybody's reached out, and I appreciate everybody's help. Um, does, but, does their family or friends uh, of this person in the building need to trying to help you at all? Yeah, we do have family, and there's all, again, everyone's trying to work towards a peaceful resolution. Can you talk about these reports? I mean, are you concerned about you know, how much ammo this guy might still have left? Yeah, sure, I'm concerned about that. Absolutely. Do we know where he's from? I don't have that information. You know, the so listen, I know there's probably a lot of other questions, um, but at this point, I'd like to conclude the uh, press and mayor, unless you have something yeah. like to add. I'll only say, please just respect the, you know, uh, what our police chief is speaking to at this moment. As soon as we have details, we'll be sure to share it with the public. Um, the best message that we can, uh, you know, ask the media to convey to the general public is to avoid this area. This is obviously an isolated and active situation, and so we just want to make sure that we're providing our officers the support that they need to ensure a peaceful resolution to this matter. And is any information available about the condition of the victim? I don't have information at this point, but you know, you asked another question. I'm praying for him and I'm praying for the, all the officers here on this scene that this ends peacefully. And so I'd like to send that out as well, okay? Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, everybody. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Chief.